It was the Marvel Room or the Rubber Room. Here's Bo and Comic Book Man. Hey kids, how you doing? Comic Book Man here. Welcome to the Video Outhouse. This guy's with me. And we're in the Marvel Room, which means it's time for Marvel News here on the Video Outhouse. Now you can stop off at Sir's website, www.myalternaterally.com, and read Marvel News, which he ponies up and I put up almost every single day. First up is a story which we covered in media news, but this, since this is the Marvel Room, it applies. We're going to cover it here, too, a bit. And that is the family of the Jack Kirby's estate, Jack Kirby's sons and daughters? Grandkids. And grandkids are suing Marvel over the rights to some of Marvel's characters, which Jack had a hand in creating. Why would they be doing this? Well, they're not suing yet. They well, basically, they've, they've made the announcement that they're going to try to sue... This gun I'm holding at your head, I haven't blown your brains out yet. <laughs> to, rec to reclaim the rights of a lot of the Marvel superheroes that, that he co-created in the 1960s. Yes. Actually, specifically, not the characters themselves, but a portion of the characters. Because what, a leg, an arm, <laughs> Well, co-created co means... Okay, I came Thor, up, I want your cape! <laughs> right, I came up with this part of it, but I, so I want, I want a percentage of that point, and that's what the lawsuit's about. So they want money. They want money. Oh, now, yeah. uh, the first of a couple of these copyrights is going to end about 2017. Some are going to end in 2019, but Marvel's copyrights per se for all these characters don't end for another 39 years. The problem with the Kirby's lawsuit is going to be how exactly do you prove what Jack Kirby came up with since there's not a lot of people left over. And in the case of certain characters such as Spider-Man, Kirby's involvement in the creation of Spider-Man was minimal at best. So Steve Ditko would be suing, but since Steve Ditko's nuts... It doesn't believe in lawyers. We do not know sure. that Steve Ditko is nuts. Special. He's Steve special. Ditko is a recluse. Steve Ditko is eccentric. Steve Ditko is not, as far as we know, clinically nuts. And because he doesn't have an internet connection and stays away, he will never know we called him nuts. Uh, no, but he has friends. <laughs> he does. <laughs> I hope so. Somebody's bringing him food. Anyway, so he they, they do this lawsuit hot on the heels of the $4 billion deal, huh? Hmm. wonder if there's a connection. Anyway, no. Next up, Doctor Doom's gonna fight the Iron Patriot. No, oh, won't that be exciting? <laughs> It'll wrap this thing up. For all you kids that are going, when is Dark Reign end, boys? Oh, and girls? soon. <laughs> it ends in December with oh, a say it ain't I, so with a Doctor Doom Iron Patriot fist fight from uh, Brian Michael Bendis. Michael Lark and David Finch are going to be doing it. Now, if you picked up this week's uh, X-Men, The List, you already know that of that little you know, mini cabal that, uh, that, that Norman Osborn's hooked up. Namor's already basically said, I'm going to kill him. So apparently around in December, he's going to do something uh, yes. involving uh, Asgard, which is in Latveria right now. He's going to try to take over. And I think Victor Von Doom's going to have a problem with Norman and his people invading his country. Well, I would, too, if I was Dr. Doom. Hey, did you pick this up? Messiah War? Well, this is a three-part trilogy. You've seen part one, you've seen part two. Guess what's coming? Part three of the really? trilogy is coming. It'll start with a one-shot. It'll cross over between four monthly titles and end with a double-sized one-shot. Marvel has not announced the creator team, but we're assuming next month, October, they're going to be, I think there's a big convention going on in New York City. There's also this uh, Diamond Retailer Summit, so Marvel may be announcing something big at that point. And it's probably going to be who's working on the third part of the Messiah trilogy. Wow. Uh, Marvel has really... Marvel with Deadpool has has a character which has a, a strong, solid cult following, but Marvel, I think, has really overestimated this guy's potential for sales because they're doing a Deadpool team-up book. Remember Spider-Man team-up? Deadpool team-up is coming. Why? Because kids love the Deadpool. Not as much as everyone thinks. He doesn't kids love the Deadpool. By alternate reality sales, he sells okay. Okay, he's not the next Spider-Man. The team up <laughs> book will have a will have will not have a regular creative team. It'll be a bunch of people coming in and out. But the first issue will be done by Fred Ben Lente, and the team up for that first issue is Deadpool and Hercules. That's actually going to be kind of interesting to see exactly how the two of them will hang out together because Deadpool's nuts and Hercules is always good for a couple laughs because he's just goofy. This guy. Once upon a time, was kidnapped by the Beyonder, and the Beyonder did all sorts of terrible things to him. Unspeakable acts, which will get a mini-series of their own in the near future, right? 
Paul Tobin and Patrick Sherberg are the people who did you Doctor Doom and the Masters of Evil. They're doing a four so kids book, well, and, and so is this. Uh, so is the book of unspeakable gonna acts. Spider Man <laughs> and the Secret Wars four issue limited series. Basically, what it'll do is it'll fill in the blanks of the stuff that happened in the first Secret Wars limited series, such as what happened when Peter Parker actually went. Hey, this black costume. Where the hell does costume come from? It was you know, a he sort of that yeah, but he sort of showed up. He had the costume on, and he never explained what he did and how other and so, other weird things like that, such as the fact that remember the entire city of Denver showed up in this world where all the heroes were. Well, they can explain exactly why Denver and what was going on in the city of Denver because they're going. Why are they in the middle of all this? And why are all these superheroes trying to kill each other? These are questions that absolutely nobody has asked over the last 35 but years. Kids, but thank you, Marvel, for answering them for us. Kids want to know. No, they don't. Uh, I can't just ask me around the corner over there. He said, hey, I want to know about Secret uh, Frank Terry is writing a Wolverine one-shot. That's pretty exciting. It's a Wolverine one-shot involving the character that Frank Terry created when he was working on Wolverine. Mr. X. He was a guy I think the Wolverine Who's slashed. Mr. X? He slashed his face off. I remember that was way Wow. Back. And it happened when he was doing on the, the book where they, everybody was all being hidden somewhere. Uh, it's going to be, an, it, he's doing a one shot. He's also doing a Marvel digital comics only thing, which will have Wolverine uh, facing Thor. And by the way, Mr. X actually happens to be yes. a current member of the Thunderbolts roster. Well, how about that? And he's also working on some other really big projects that he said he won't announce yet. So we're assuming October is going to be a month where they're going to mm. announce a whole bunch of new stuff. That will be great. Okay. So that's can he control his enthusiasm anymore? Contain yourself, uh, comic book comic man. Comic book man needs some coffee. So no somebody so, needs a nap. So that's about it. We're done. We're out of here. That's the end of Marvel news. No, no, no comic book Mick this week. Sorry, he just. Oh he's my around. God, my he's ears are still ringing. Yes, I am. Oh, oh I heard him. I heard God. him. I heard him. I heard him. All right. Him. Well, you know, comic book Mick's here, so that means it's time for me to go. Uh, so up. bye, kids. Say your name backwards. Ab. Oh my god, look at that, just like that, it's magic, it he's gone. Every week. Bye, out!